All right, for today's video, we are talking about how to find equations of tangent lines of circles. And as you can tell, our standard we're working on today is MM3G1, in particular, we're working on part C and D. We're finding equations of tangent lines to the circles at a point, and we're going through and talking about how to solve a system of equations involving a circle and a line. Now, I know this one says entry 30. Yours may be a little bit different. just kind of depends on where we are in your notebook at the time. So... I'm going to go through, and as you can tell, we have our steps over here on the side, and we have our center of our circle and our point. So I'm going to go through and start up our recording at this time. So first thing you need to know is that here's our circle, there's our center. Next thing we need is we have this point, 2, 7, which if you think if this is negative 1, 4, 2, 7's up here, gotta be. So, and then we're going to draw our line that goes through our point to kind of give us an idea of what we're looking at here. First thing we need to do is we need to determine the slope between these two points. So that's going to mean we're going to have to pull out our slope formula. Let's see, let me let my hand catch up with my mouse, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So keep a note of it, keep it on your cheat sheet, whatever you need to do, do what you need. So at this point we have our two points, which we're going to label as our x1 and y1, oops, x2, y1, and then our next one should Okay, my hand is just doing something weird. It's not listening. So, x2, y2. There we go. Okay. And now that I have them labeled, I'm going to go through and plug them into my formula. So that way we can figure out what our slope is. So we have our 7 minus 4 over our 2 minus the negative 1. Now you got to think, anytime you subtract a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. So let's go through. We know 7 minus 4 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. We get 1. Awesome. Step 1 is now done. Second thing we need to do... So we need to determine the opposite reciprocal of that slope. So if we have a slope of 1, and I'm going to go back through and I'm going to emphasize opposite. If it's a plus sign, you're going to change it to minus. If it's already a negative sign, you're going to change it back to positive. And reciprocal, in case you weren't sure, it's going to mean you're going to flip it upside down. Anything that's in the numerator goes to the denominator. Anything that's in the denominator goes to the numerator. So we started off with the 1. And if you think, if it's all, if for a whole number, it's always over 1. And when we flip it, we end up with 1 over 1. We put the opposite with it, makes it that negative 1. So that negative 1 is now our slope. That is our slope. So we are now on to step 3. We're going to plug the slope in and, and a point into that equation to solve for b. So there's our equation, y equals mx plus b. There's plugging our 1 in. And we get there. Now we've got to figure out which point we want. We want the one that actually is the one sitting on the circle that the line is going through. So we want to plug this one in. So we're going to plug in the 7 for the y and the 2 for the x. To get that plus b. So we end up with 7 equals the 2 plus b. Now we would go through and do the opposite, which is that minus 2. And I can't write right there. I can't move the little thingy. Why won't it move? It's making me mad. Okay. And hold on. I'm thinking. Wait a minute, I missed a sign. Yeah, I forgot my minus. Minus, 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 and that's going to change that to plus, and it's going to give me 9. Okay, sorry about that. We all make mistakes. So at this point, we are on to step 4. We need to plug in our slope and our b for the equation. So, here's our generic equation, y equals mx plus b, one more time. We're going to plug in that negative 1 right there. And then we're going to take that 9, we're going to plug it in right there on the end. So when we finish, we should end up with y equals negative 1x, or just negative x, you could do that, plus 9. And that's how you go through and find the tangent line to a circle when given the point.